welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am filming another styling video. If you're not a regular watcher, I do these at least, I try and do one a month, um, whether it's like a designer piece, so it's kind of like ways to wear. I've done the Gucci belt and I also did the Balenciaga boots, which I will link here um, and in the description box below. Um, and then also I had the idea to, but I haven't done yet, so this is my first one, um, to do like trend led pieces. So today, I am doing the cords. So I actually um, tentatively picked up a pair at uh, the end of last week myself. Um, and I've actually worn them more than I thought I would, but still with quite reserved outfits. And as soon as I was struggling with styling them, I thought it would be quite an interesting video to do for you guys, because I know cords are quite big on the high street right now. And generally, um, it's like pastel coloured cords, so it's not necessarily all like mustard or there's like autumnal colours or pastel colours that are the popular um, in like styles of cords, so not necessarily just like black cords. Um, so yeah, I wanted to show you how to style them because obviously it's quite a new trend and I do think they're a bit tricky to style, or I thought they were, so yeah, I thought it'd be really interesting to do for you guys and extremely helpful. So I'm not going to blabber on too long. So if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I do two videos a week on a Thursday and a Sunday, a ridiculous amount of hauls because I'm a shopaholic, um, and also lots of styling videos. I also do dupe videos um, once a month, which are always super popular with you guys because everyone has a bargain, um, and my latest one is amazing. I've got a couple of really great Chanel dupes, actually. Um, I think it will go live before this. I'm just waiting for one more product. I always end up filming it really last minute because I have to order the product in and then I have to wait for delivery. So yeah, I think it will be live, so I'll put a link here. Um, and also, super excitingly, one of you guys, or lots of you guys have been asking, to be fair, I'm finally going to film my handbag collection soon, but I have got to visit Bista Village at the end of the week, so I'm waiting to see if I pick anything up there, um, and then I will show you it afterwards. Um, but also, I'm going to do a Come Shopping With Me, which will also probably be live, because I'm just going to do that as an additional video, so I'll link that up there too. Anyway, long intro aside, let's get into the styling. So when I was styling these, I came up with seven different looks, and I kind of wanted to pick things that were um, not necessarily just like different outfits, well obviously they're all different outfits, but for like different occasions, like where if you wanted to style cords for work, if you wanted to style cords for a night out, if you wanted to style cords for like a um, smart casual occasion, with ankle boots, like particular items, um, for like a pastel kind of look, an all-in-one colour look, so I've kind of gone for a varied mix. So the cords I'll be styling are this pair, um, I got them in blue because I felt like they were the safest colour. I kind of regret getting the blue now because they had them in pastel pink, but that may just mean that I'll end up getting pink pair too. These are from Urban Outfitters and they are the mum style jean um, and you'll see how they fit me. I really like how they fit me. I went in my normal size, which is a waist 26, and they are actually a leg 30. Now, I would normally go for a leg 32, but I quite like where they land. Um, so yeah, I don't mind the length at all. So have a look, you'll know, or you might not know, I'm five foot seven-ish. So yeah, if you like how they fit on me, then you can kind of gauge the length. Um, also, I'm a waist 26 in like Topshop and generally other stores. So yeah, they're kind of quite true size. They are a struggle to get on, but once they're on, they, they fit really nice. It's just, um, they're not as stretchy and I've got quite a big booty. So <laughs> they take a while to get on, but once they're on, they're pretty snug. So the first way I styled them was for a night out. I'm a real kind of casual dresser anyway for a night out, so cords fit perfectly with my style. If you are a bit dressier, then perhaps you'd wear this look for like dinner or drinks or something. Um, so I styled the cords with a slogan tee, um, my Gucci belt, which always makes any look smarter, um, some nice like simple nude heels, a leather jacket and my Gucci bag, which tied in the gold from the Gucci belt. Um, and I really loved this look. The cords um, end at a really nice position in the legs, which looks super nice with the um, heels and with the uh, leather jacket and the slogan tee and the um, bag. It just gives a real like kind of cool girl laid back look, which I absolutely adore. It's kind of the look that I always go for, so these fit perfectly with them. I do think that cords kind of add an edgier feel to a look um, than jeans. They do fall differently. They're way more structured, so. Um, you don't have that kind of looseness 
as you would with um, jeans. Um, they're also not quite as flattering as jeans because obviously the colour of them, it's not like, I kind of feel like jeans sometimes contour you, I know that sounds silly but they're like lighter in the front so they can be way more flattering. Any of these looks obviously would look amazing with jeans too, so I'll link a couple of my favourite pairs of jeans and I'm also going to link some amazing other alternatives of cords. Um, but I really liked this of cords, I'd 100% wear it, I'm going to wear all of these outfits in the future um, and I really want to continue wearing my cords loads and hopefully build up a collection of them. Next I wanted to style them in a kind of different smart casual way. Um, I wanted to style them with the huge trend of this season which is Prince of Wales check blazer. Obviously Prince of Wales check and anything is super on trend but the blazer is like the key piece that everyone should have in their wardrobe um, and I just think it's also the perfect way to kind of enter the trend if you don't want to go all out, it's like if you don't want trousers and stuff then the blazer is like the perfect way to style the trend. So I actually styled the blazer with my Balmain t-shirt which I absolutely adore, it's like the perfect slogan tee, obviously um, I'll link an alternative below and in the previous outfit I didn't wear that because I wanted to show you uh, an affordable one, I think the other one was like under £10 and then obviously like a more premium one so you can decide whatever's in your price range. I've also styled this, so firstly I styled it with my Jones Bootmaker Mules which are super cute and perfect for like a smart casual look, they're like boots that have basically just been chopped off, I love them so much, they're so comfortable, like perfect leather, very true to size and then I paired it with my cute little box bag from Aspinall of London which looks absolutely perfect with the look and just kind of finishes off. I feel like the box bag really kind of makes anything look smarter because it's such a structured and smart little piece um, and yeah I love that so much, it's super new in my wardrobe. I haven't really had a chance to properly wear it yet so definitely be wearing this look out. Then I also did an alternative for this look for a kind of more laid back look with the blazer and the cords um, so I still kept the same top half and the, the cords are the same, the t-shirt's the same, the blazer's the same but I just switched out my uh, heeled like uh, mule things from Jones Bootmaker to my new trainers and Golden Goose which I adore, they're like the comfiest trainers in the world I said to my boyfriend that and he was like, this bloody well should be for the price you paid and um, they are designer trainers, they're like £290 but I mean, that's half the price of Sailor on one so anyway, it's not about the trainers um, they're the comfiest trainers in the world, so I paired it with those, they looked really cool actually with those trainers, I really liked that look, um, and then I just added my Chloe um, Nile dupe because I just think it's a way more fun bag and it just kind of adds a little fun twist to, to the look, um, and I really like this, I think I actually prefer it with the trainers to with the Jones Bootmaker and the um, box bag, but then that is an alternative if you wanted to be a bit dressier for like meetings and things. So next I went for a kind of colour variation on styling the cords, so I've seen a lot of people do this with the pink cords because I think pink cords are like kind of what kick-started the whole cord trend that is Balmerant pair, I'll put a picture in here, um, which are insane, and Mango actually have a really amazing dupe, so I'll link those below, and there's Balmerant ones, and like, as I said, there's alternatives, um, but anyway, they like really kicked it off, and I've seen loads of people do really cool, all pink looks, like Monique Dale did an amazing one with a Ganny jumper, I'll put a picture in and I'll link her outfit below or her picture on Instagram so you can shop it, um, and it looks amazing, um, and I wanted to go for that kind of vibe, I haven't seen anyone do it with blue, so I thought it would be really cool to show you how to start all blue and how it can look, so again, I kept it really casual, I went for my blue Ralph Lauren men's t-shirt, I actually got this from Vista Village ages ago for like, £15 or something, I really really love this t-shirt so much, it's like the softest t-shirt, when I go on Friday I'm going to pick up more, 100% love men's t-shirts as you guys know, so it's like pale baby blue stripes, looks amazing with the cords, just tucked in again, I went without the belt that I would normally wear with jeans because I just think it looks way better um, and I liked that it was there was nothing to like break up the blue, it just kind of blended seamlessly, then I added my Chloe bag which I have actually found an amazing trick, I um, have made the strap actually shorter by just unclipped the little loop, folded over the straps so um, they cross over underneath the flap and then clipped it back in and it makes it like a really short strap so I really like that, worn like that too so there's lots of different ways to wear that too, maybe my next video should be styling that in different ways so let me know if you want me to do that, but the blue works perfectly with the blue t-shirt and the blue jeans all slightly different shades of blue but I quite like that kind of colour clash and then I just added my Superbias in grey because I don't have any blue shoes but also I feel like blue shoes might be a bit overload and grey kind of like blends nicely so I added my grey Superbias which look perfect, they look perfect with everything 
Um, I actually wore this in a blog post which will be up before this, so I'll link it below and put a picture in here. Um, I wore it with my grey superbus and a white jumper, um, and it just looked perfect, and I added a little like, gingham bag, um, which kind of broke the outfit up. Um, so that's another way of wearing it, but I tried to style it differently to that because I've already done a blog post, so I don't really like to double up looks. So for this, obviously, because we're going into fall, autumn, whatever you want to call it, wherever you are in the world, um, so I wanted to try and make all of these looks fall appropriate. I didn't want to put a blue denim jacket on because I don't know if it would look great with this look. Um, so I added my shearling jacket which looked super cute. This jacket literally looks good with anything and I really, really love the texture difference actually between the shearling and the cord. I think they look so perfect together. So next I styled them with ankle boots. Now this is the thing that I really didn't think they'd go with. Because they're a pastel colour, didn't know if the black harsh ankle boots would be too much. I even picked my Balenciaga boots, which are like probably the most statement dark, bold boots that I own. Um, so I really didn't know how they were going to look. They do look quite edgy, um, like um, way edgier than like my normal look, but I quite like it um, and I definitely think I would wear them together. I added my white t shirt, which is from my recent haul. I actually got it from a second hand app. And I got that for super cheap. It's from Topshop originally. I'll put a link to my haul so you can see how I got it for like £10. And I really loved the cords with that Hamptons top. I think that they like the blue and white in the top, the blue and red in the top, and the um, cords just like flow perfectly together. Then I did my fave Gucci bag because I just thought that the black with the gold details tied in the ankle boots and kind of balanced the outfit out a bit. Um, and yeah, I love that look so much. So next, I tried to do a kind of work look obviously I don't go to work well I do go to work but I work from home so I don't have like an, a uniform um not really down with the kind of office wear rules probably not sure if calls are office appropriate anyway I try to make them office appropriate or just like smart casual anyway so I started this look with my white shirt from Other Stories. I love this shirt so much because it's like a chambray material, so it falls perfectly, which means it looks great with the kind of like half tucked in, half tucked out look. So that's what I did for this, because I always think that kind of um, makes something look a bit less kind of um, stiff um, when you're wearing a shirt. So yeah, I tucked that half in. I added my little kitten heels, which are the perfect to your tube, and they're actually... £30 now in the sale, which I'm gutted about, but they do do them in another colour, which I am considering. Then, again, my box bag, as I said, it does just add that kind of more smarter look to an outfit. Um, I just think it's the kind of, I don't know, I wanted to say tailored, but it's obviously not tailored, but just like the structured shape of it really makes something look a bit more formal. Then I went and added my trench coat as like the final layer to this look. And I wasn't sure if the trench coat would look a bit weird with cords, but actually it looks fine. It just looks like I'm wearing really light denim. The outfit looks perfect, I would definitely wear this, um, and yeah, so I feel like you could wear cords with anything, like if you can wear a white short shirt, kitten heels, and a trench coat, what can you not wear them with? So with my final look, I went for another kind of colour theme, trend, style, and I styled it with like an all pastel look, which I thought looked super cute, I'd definitely be wearing it. So I styled it first with my Chili Rosa cream jumper, which I absolutely adore, and I thought, because this is going to be all pastel, it's obviously going to end up being a really cutesy look, and it's a really cutesy jumper. So I really like that, and I added it, because it also looks perfect under the coat which I styled it with, because the sleeves are slightly longer, and the frills hang out the bottom, and it just looks really cute. It looks like the jumper and the coat were made for each other. The coat I got from V by Berry, it's arranged with Michelle Keegan, and actually I really like this coat. Sized up to size 12, because I always like my coats to be a bit oversized. Um, then I added my pink velvet Supergers and my pink Louis Vuitton dupe, and I really love all the pastel pinks and the pastel blue trousers. I think it works perfectly together for a really cute little look to finish off this little style lookbook. So thanks so much for watching my video, I hope you liked it, I hope I've given you some inspiration on how to style cords if you've got a pair and you're not sure how to wear them, or I hope that I've inspired you to go and buy a pair, um, I'll link this pair below, but I know there's, I mean, they're in every high street store at the moment, I'll probably link alternative, I don't know, do you guys, if I have like a high street item, do you guys, would you want me to link a higher end alternative? Or does it only work the other way? Because if I have like a high-end piece, I always link a high street alternative because obviously everyone's got a different budget. But then also, does that work the other way? Because I always see like 
people want a bargain. So why would someone want to buy something more expensive? But if you would like me to, then I'm more than happy to do so. So let me know um, if that's something you'd want, because obviously I want to keep you guys happy. So I'm not going to keep you guys any longer, but thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you like it. I hope I've inspired you. Let me know what your favourite look was. I'm not sure what my favourite look was. I, may, I think maybe the all blue look was my actual favourite with the shearling jacket. Yeah, I think that's definitely my favourite. But let me know what your guys' favourite was. Let me know how you're styling calls if you've got a pair. And let me know if there's any items you want me to style. And I will do. And thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. And I'll see you next time. Bye.